overnight tonight, it could potentially be the last time many of us will have to worry about that twice yearly time change. A group of lawmakers are proposing the Sunshine Protection Act, which would end the changing of the clocks once and for all. Our goal is we spring forward this weekend. We're not going to have to fall back in the fall if we get our, our bill passed in the law. The idea that extra sunlight in the evening could improve public health, allowing more time for outdoor activities, reduce robberies, and benefit the economy and tourism. One argument for keeping the clocks ahead? Road safety. More daylight commuting hours means less accidents. I think it's more fun to have a longer day and make the most out of your day. I'm not looking forward to losing an hour of sleep. But why do we change the clocks? It's a question as old as time. Well, not quite. The Germans first used daylight saving time in 1916 as a way of saving coal during World War I. The U.S. started it two years later as a way of saving electricity. Not everyone thinks it's time for permanent change, though. In the winter, it could mean very dark mornings. Many cities will have sunrise at 8.30. Many others will have sunrise at 9 a.m. And some places in the country will have sunrise as late as 9.30 or later. In the 1970s, during the energy crisis, the U.S. tried extending daylight saving time as an emergency measure. It was so unpopular, with many children heading to school in total darkness in the winter, that it was soon scrapped. So will we give it another try? Only time will tell. For today, Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Miami.